Hey guys! So, um, before we start this video, I just want to say I'm sorry, like I have in almost every video so far. Um, I'm really, really sorry that I haven't been able to do the videos like I said I would try and do. I, I always say this, it has been insane here. Um, October has been a crazy month, and I, I know I've had like plenty of opportunities where I probably could have forced myself to sit down and get this done, and I just didn't have the time, or something came up last minute, or, I mean, it was, it's been insane, and I'll explain why, and I'm really sorry, I say this every time, but I really, I promise, um, at the beginning of this month, I started a new job, the one that I had, um, where I was before this, did not work out very well, um, it was just a bad deal. I mean, I'm not going to go into detail on here, but it was just, I started getting treated very poorly for a very stupid reason that really wasn't a reason. I don't know. We'll, we just don't worry about it. Anyways, I started a new job, so that was really exciting. Um, my husband just had knee surgery a little over a week ago, so I've been taking care of him and handling all of that and that's been an adventure and um, once this knee is healed he has to do the other knee because he is just so talented he tore his ACL and meniscus in both knees so we got one fixed and the other one's next and so that's gonna be just insane all over as well um, but the most exciting news that has made my life crazy so far is that my husband and I are expecting we are um, going to have a baby next year and I am 14 weeks and two days today so we are both just beyond excited for this new adventure but um, so I mean I'm, I'm serious when I said it has been insane here so I'm really sorry uh, I'm going to try my best to do better and starting with today, I have got my October birch box. And I'm so excited. Um, I really like the colors. I don't know, it makes me think of art. Does that make sense? I don't even know what painter I'm thinking of. But I think, I think of something, like this would be something you show in an art class. Like, how does that make you feel? And how do those lines... I don't know. I'm not an art teacher. I like art, but I, I can't. I'm not going to pretend like I know everything. I also really like this pretty goldy color on the bottom. I think that's cool. So we're just going to jump in on it because this is my first time opening it. I haven't opened it until now. I got it out of the mailbox and I came in the house and I thought, I'm going to make a video because I feel really bad for being so terrible and not making one for so long. So... Um, let's see. This month is all about reviving and restoring. And this says, this is a cute little card. Our aim this month is to take a breather and slow way down. So, um, I went ahead and I got the curated box this month. Um, the samples just didn't look exciting to me that I could pick from. And I... Almost everything in this box I was super excited and, like, I really wanted to try. Um, so we're going to jump in and I will explain what I got and how much it costs and all that stuff that I always do. Um, for those of you who don't know what Birchbox is, it is a monthly beauty subscription and it is $10 a month. And it's a flat rate. Um, that's shipping and everything. It's $10. And you get five samples in a box. Um, you can either pick this curated box like I did this month, or you could do like I have in the past. And honestly, this is the first time I've ever picked a curated box. I never thought I would, but everything in this box sounded amazing. So I went ahead and went for it. But um, you could do that, or you can pick a sample that they choose. They, ch they give you um, like three or four different options a month. And you could choose one of those and then they get pick out the rest of the four based on your profile or you could do absolutely nothing and they just send you a box of surprise so um, like I said this is the first time I've ever picked the fully curated box like I never thought I would because I thought oh I like getting the surprise stuff every month 
but this stuff just looked really neat. So we're gonna go ahead and go in. Um, the first thing that I see is this Oribe Gold Lust Dry Shampoo. And I have one thing from them already. This is what it looks like. I do have something, ooh, that's pretty. Um, I do have something else from them and it is a texturizing spray instead of a dry shampoo. But I'm really excited about this dry shampoo. I like, I use dry shampoos a lot. And that is really pretty looking. Can you see the design on there? I think that looks cool. Um, let's see, a full size of this is $44. And this is 43 milliliters or 0.9 ounces of it. So I feel like this will kind of go a long way. Um, for me anyway, I have a few other dry shampoo samples. So this will just be added in and we'll see if it works as well as the rest. Um, the next thing I see is one that I'm not as excited about, but I still thought, oh well, you know, the rest of the samples seem amazing, so I'm not worried. This is Avene, I think is how you would say it. Can you see? It's kind of showing up there. There. Avene, and it is Hydrants Optimal. It is a uh, rich hydrating cream. And it's for your, it's a face cream that restores skin's natural moisture barrier and balances hydration levels. And a full, this is 0.5 fluid ounces. It's really funny because if I hold it up here, you can see it better. This is 0.5 fluid ounces and it's not a too, too small of a size. And a full size of this is normally $32. So this is probably what I'm least excited about in the box, but I will still use it because I got their um, thermal spray. It's like a mist that you do all over your face. And I like it, so I like the brand at least. It'll be good. Now the next thing I see is something that I'm excited to try and I wanna see if it'll work on my husband too. It is Time for Sleep. And this is, this works. It is a deep sleep pillow spray and it comes in this little thing and I'll go ahead and take it out or I'll show you at least in here. It's a little spray, it's actually pretty good size for if you only have to use a few sprays you spray it onto your pillow before you go to bed and it's supposed to help you sleep this uh is 0.17 fluid ounces a full size of this is 29 dollars, and it says it's proven to work 89 percent of people fell asleep faster 99 percent slept better than normal 92 percent felt more refreshed in the morning and 100% would recommend it to a friend with sleep issues. So you shake it and then you spray it onto your pillow or your bed linens or whatever. I would probably say pillow. Um, and it is supposed to, I think it's got like chamomile and lavender to help you fall asleep and stay asleep. And like, it's really neat sounding. And I would spray it, but I'm afraid to waste it. I wonder, and I can't smell really great right now anyway. Oh, I like it though. I just opened it instead. I like this. I think this will work nice. My husband has, I feel like the biggest issue with going to sleep and staying asleep at night, like I'll wake up in the middle of the night to use the bathroom or something and he's on his phone playing. And I'm like, it's like three in the morning. What are you doing? So I feel like this would be a nice little thing to see if it works on him too. And I'm all for lavender and chamomile. I love those smells. So. That's exciting. Uh, the next thing I see is one of the ones I was really excited about when I saw the curated box, and it is Glam Glow Power Mud uh, Dual Cleanse Treatment. It looks like this. Um, I think this is gonna be super cool. This is 0.5 ounces, and a full size of this is $69. Now this is a white clay detoxifying mask and it transforms from mud to an oil to deeply clean and soften your skin. So I'm, I love masks and here lately I've really been getting into them. So this is something that when I saw it, I thought, oh, I really just want the carrier box because I want to try that. <laughs> I mean, this was, this, the, this, the item before this, the, this works deep sleep pillow spray. And then the last item I'm going to show you are the three that really drew me into this box this month. That really made me think, I'm going to try those because that seems really cool. So, um, 
it's just a white clay mask and it's supposed to let's see what does the back say it says remove with water to transform into a deep cleansing oil treatment so this just seems like I'm just beyond happy to try this I say super excited a lot I've noticed I haven't ever counted so please don't because I feel like I would say it way too much but anyway I'm really, really happy to be able to try this. And it's small, but I think I'll still be able to get a couple of uses out of it. Um, I probably won't buy it because I can't spend $69 on a mask. But that's the fun part about Birchbox is you get to try stuff that you probably would never be able to buy. And then sometimes you love it and you buy it anyway. <laughs> but um, the last thing that is in this box was one that I am in love with. But that is because if you have seen some of my other videos you will know that I really like lip products. And this last one is this cute, and it's little, which kind of is what makes me a little bit sad because I'm afraid I won't get as much use out of it as I want, but I also have a variety of other lipsticks that I probably will be okay, but this is Make Silk Cream Lipstick in the color Magnolia, and it's kind of hard to see in there, so let's see if I can get it out. And it comes, and it's super cute because it it's got this little, you just push it up. But there's the colors, a better part, and I'll do a little swatch of it. Oh, that is really creamy. So there's the color. I don't know, I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's this really pretty like berry color. And um, a full size of this is $25. I really like it. I don't, you can't see it as well as I hoped you would. But it's really pretty and like a pinky berry color. Um, and it's supposed to be long lasting and smudge proof and hydrating. So it's supposed to be a double duty as a lipstick and a lip treatment. We'll see. I'm excited to use this. I will probably use this really soon because like I said, I just really like lip products. So that was it actually for this box. So this is this is all that was in the box this month, and I'm really, I was, this is, again, my first curated box, so we'll see if I ever do this again, um, but I'm really, I'm really happy with everything I got, I really like it, and um, hopefully everything works well, but I'm going to do my best, again, <laughs> I'm going to say this again, to make videos more. Now that some of the craziness has kind of toned down a little bit, I mean, it's going to keep going the rest of the year because it's getting into the holidays and just times where I don't want to mess with anything and anybody, but <laughs> I will keep you updated on pregnancy, on life, on Birchbox, on... I had a Walmart box a while ago and I totally didn't even make a video about it and I'm a terrible person for that, but... I'm sorry, it's just been crazy. So, I will do my best to keep you guys updated on everything. Um, like I said, I am 14 weeks to, and two days today, pregnancy-wise. Um, I have another appointment next week. By the end of November, we should be able to find out what the gender of the baby is. So, that'll be a really fun one to tell you. And um, I don't think I have any other boxes. I stopped the Phantom of the Month box, only because it's about $16 a month, and I thought that instead of spending it on a Phantom of the Month box, I would put that back and save it um, for the baby, because it's going to be expensive on top of these surgeries my husband's having. So, I'm trying to do a little bit of pity pinching. I'm trying to, I'm going to keep Birch Box, because that one doesn't bother me. It doesn't affect as much. It's only $10, and I'm used to that one. But um, we'll see if I get any others. Um, I think that's about it right now, though. So I will try and come up with more things to make videos about. Uh, maybe my next one could be, I don't know. I've seen some people do like two-week wait videos, like, oh, what to expect and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I could do something like that. If you guys have anything that you want me to make a video about, let me know and I'll see what I can do. Um, but hopefully I will I can get back into the groove of trying to make videos for you guys at least every week because I really want to and I really like doing this 
but everything has just been so much right now that I haven't even been focused on like any one specific thing. So um, if you could think of something that you'd like me to make a video about, whether it's the pregnancy so far or if you want to see my Walmart box anyway, or if you just want a story time, I don't know, whatever you want, mention it below in the comments and we will, um, I will do my best to try and figure something out so that I can, can it make you guys happy again. <laughs> so, uh, but that was it for this video and I hope that you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. So, bye.